In suite number five, we're going to rely on what the students practiced and learned last week about the doubles, because this is the doubles plus one. So here's an example of a double. Four and four is eight. Double four is eight, that sort of thing. What will five plus four be, or four plus five? Obviously, it's just one more. In each of these number facts, the two numbers that you're adding together will be adjacent to each other in the sequence of counting numbers. So 2 plus 3, 6 plus 7, 8 plus 9, 1 plus 2, etc. Including the turnarounds. In this particular instance, the turnarounds are really easy. You just switch the two numbers there next to each other anyway. So 4 plus 5, 5 plus 4, it's going to be um, pretty easy to see. So if we've got um, a number less than 10, we simply imagine or count an extra number beyond that we're going to know that 4 plus 5 is 4 plus 4 plus 1 more. 5 plus 4, same thing. Now looking at the 10 frame and the counters, there's no need to go beyond a simple example because the process is exactly the same. If you know double 4 is 8, then 4 plus 5 will be 9. If you know double 6 is 12, 6 plus 7 will be 13. So we're going to help our students see that if you know the double, if you know all the doubles and you're adding one extra one, then that's going to be an easy number fact to do. So 8 plus 7, which is one of the hardest addition number facts we've got. If you just know double 7 is 14, 8 plus 7 is simple, it's 15. So again, providing the students have learned last week's number facts, the doubles number facts, they can do doubles plus 1 pretty easily, just count on to the next number. So that's it for this video. See you next time.